African countries with the most China debt. Hello explorers, welcome back to another informative video and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be presenting the top 10 African countries with the most Chinese debt. The relation between China and Africa is referred to as Sino-African relation and this relation dates back as early as the 15th century. However, modern political and economic relations between Africa and China commenced in the era of Mao Zedong following the victory of Chinese Communist Party in the Chinese Civil War. Starting in the 21st century, the modern state of the People's Republic of China has built increasingly strong economic ties with Africa. There are an estimated 1 million Chinese citizens residing in Africa. Additionally, it has been estimated that 200,000 Africans are working in China. We have a video on the top 10 African countries with the most Chinese population. Click on the card on your screen to check it out. In 1980, the total China-African trade volume was 1 billion US dollars. In 1999, it was 6.5 billion US dollars, and in 2000, it was 10 billion US dollars. By 2005, the total Sino African trade had reached 39.7 billion US dollars before it jumped to 55 billion US dollars in 2006, making China the second largest trading partner of Africa after the United States, which had trade worth 91 billion US dollars with African nations. Many African countries are currently indebted to China, and China is now exploiting these countries due to the fact that they are unable to repay their loan. What China is doing in Africa is referred to debt trap diplomacy, whereby China intentionally extends excessive credit to another debtor country with the alleged intention of extracting economic or political concessions from the debtor country when it becomes unable to honor its debt obligations. Often asset-based lending with assets including infrastructure. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. There are many African countries that owe China, but these are the top 10 ones with the most Chinese debts. Number 10. DR Congo Estimated Debt $3.4 billion The relationship between China and the Democratic Republic of the Congo dates as far back as 1890. Fast forward to post-independence DR Congo, China is still one of the biggest beneficiaries to DR Congo's natural resources. Ideally, the Democratic Republic of the Congo was supposed to be the richest country in Africa since it has the most natural resources, more than any other country, but due to high debts to China, China is taking away these natural resources as payment of debt. For example, a deal was struck between Sico Mines, a consortium of Chinese companies, Sino Hydro and China Railway Engineering Corporation, and the Congolese government in April 2008 to grant mineral concessions in Katanga province in exchange for infrastructure investments. In a deal originally worth $9 billion US dollars and funneled by China Exim Bank, $6 billion US dollars would go to infrastructure development and $3 billion US dollars would be invested in mining operations in Katanga. 68% of the project would be owned by Seco Mines and the remaining 32% would be owned by Congo's mining Parastetal Jeka Mines. Critics of the project have alleged that the deal undervalues the mineral deposits in Katanga. The International Monetary Fund IMF, has raised concerns about this deal negatively affecting the TR's ability to sustain its debt. Due to China's debt trap, the Democratic Republic of Congo has lost most of its natural resources to China. In 2007, the DRC exported 304.8 million US dollar worth of cobalt to China. In 2008, the DRC exported 1.13 billion US dollars of cobalt to China. Exports of copper ore and hardwoods to China also increased greatly, and most of these exports are geared towards the payment of loans of construction works done in DR Congo by the Chinese. The country currently owes China about 3.4 billion US dollars. Number 9. Ghana Estimated debts 3.5 billion US dollars Relations between the two countries date back to 1960 when the countries first established diplomatic relations. Since then, Ghana has provided substantial diplomatic support to the Chinese, with China reciprocating with material support for Ghana's development. Since the 2000s, the volume of Chinese trade and investment in Ghana has increased greatly. From 4.4 million US dollars Chinese projects registered by the Ghana Investment Promotion Center in 2000, Chinese registered flows had increased to 1.6 billion US dollars in 2014 alone. In 2007, China signed six agreements and a 66 million US dollar worth Chinese loan to expand and upgrade Ghana's telecommunications network. Beijing provided a concessionary loan of 30 million US dollars to support the first phase of telecommunications project to link all 10 regional capitals and 36 towns in Ghana with fiber optic cables. Recently, the China Export and Import Bank Exim Bank granted 562 million US dollar worth loan for the construction of the 622 million US dollar Bui Hydroelectric Dam in Ghana. These are not the only loans Ghana has gotten from Ghana over the years. 
Though Ghana has managed to repay some of its loans through its resources and direct payment, it still owes China about $3.5 billion. Number 8. Nigeria – Estimated Debt – $4.8 billion The bilateral relations between the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the People's Republic of China have expanded on growing bilateral trade and strategic cooperation. China is considered one of Nigeria's closest allies and partners. China is also one of Nigeria's important trading and export partners. According to a 2014 BBC World Service poll, 80% of Nigerians view China's influence positively, with only 10% expressing a negative view, making Nigeria the most pro-Chinese nation in the world. Bilateral trade reached US$3 billion in 2006, up from US$384 million in 1998. During Chinese President Hu Jintao's visit in 2006, China secured four oil drilling licenses and agreed to invest US$4 billion in oil and infrastructure development projects in Nigeria, and both nations agreed to a four-point plan to improve bilateral relations, a key component of which was to expand trade and investment in agriculture, telecommunications, energy, and infrastructure development. From 2000 to 2011, there are approximately 40 Chinese official development finance projects identified in Nigeria through various media reports. These projects range from US$2.5 billion loan for Nigeria Rail, Power or Telecommunications projects in 2008, to an MOU for US$1 billion construction of houses and water supply in Abuja in 2009, and several rail networks. Though Nigeria is the giant of Africa in terms of economy, it is still drowning in Chinese debt. Number 7. Cameroon – Estimated Debt – $5.5 billion China and Cameroon established bilateral relations on March 26, 1971. Cameroon is an adherent to the One China policy. In the 2000s, leading politicians paid state visits to and from each country. This included Cameroonian President Paul Bia's visits for a conference in 2006 and Hu Jintao's visits to Cameroon in 2007. Since the first forum on China-Africa cooperation in 2000, Beijing has successfully delivered $2.4 billion in development finance to Cameroon. $87 million of that total falls under the OECD DAC criteria for official development assistance. Major projects executed by the Chinese government in Cameroon include construction of the Kribi Deep Sea Port funded by a 207,270 billion francs loan from the Exim Bank of China, a 243 billion francs loan from China Exim Bank for construction of the Memvele Hydroelectric Dam in Nyabizan, construction of a malaria research center at Yaoundé's Hospital of Gynecology, Obstetrics and Pediatrics. In the 2000s, some in Cameroon considered the economic relationship to be a form of neocolonialism. This was mainly due to perception that Chinese traders flooded the Cameroonian market with cheap but extremely fragile manufactured goods, which stymied the development of local industries. Number 6. Zambia – Estimated Debt – $6 billion In 1998, China Non-Ferrous Metals Corporation CNMC, bought a controlling 85% stake in Zambia's Chambishi copper mine. For 20 million US dollars and invested a further 130 million US dollars in rehabilitating the mine. Less than 10 years later, by the end of 2005, roughly 160 Chinese companies had invested in Zambia. Trade between China and Zambia increased in 2010 to 2.2 billion US dollars. Chinese investments in Zambia range from mining interests in Zambia's copper belt to investments in agriculture, manufacturing, and tourism. As of February 2011, a total of 25 farms in Zambia are being run by Chinese entities. The country currently owes China about $6 billion. Number 5. Sudan – Estimated Debt – $6.4 billion China is currently one of Sudan's largest trade partners, importing oil and exporting low-cost manufactured items as well as armaments into the country. Between the year 2000 and March 2008, foreign direct investments made by Chinese firms excluding oil were equivalent to $249 million and bilateral trade between the two countries rose from $103 million in 1990 to $9.7 billion in 2007. By 2010, China became Sudan's largest trading partner, and these investments had direct impacts on the economic prospects of the country as its revenue rose exponentially between 2000 and 2008. Moreover, it remained largely untouched by the 2008 global economic crisis since its oil exports were managed under long-term contracts in which the price paid for oil gradually increased irrespective of the world market price. Sudan is currently the fifth African country drowning in Chinese debt. Number 4. Republic of Congo – Estimated Debt – $7.3 billion On February 22, 1964, China established diplomatic relations with the Republic of Congo. Both China and the Republic of Congo have donated aid projects to each other. The Chinese government fully funded the construction of a 52 million euro new parliament in the country. 
The government of the Republic of Congo funded the construction of the China Congo Friendship Primary School, a school mostly for the Tibetan orphans in Chindu County, Kinkai, after the 2010 Yunshu earthquake destroyed the old school. Chinese state owned financial institutions have provided development finance for infrastructure construction in the Republic of Congo. Based on media reports, from 2000 to 2012, there were approximately 25 Chinese finance development finance projects in the country. These projects range from building highways linking Brazzaville and Point Noir to constructing a 120 milliwatt dam to supply power to Brazzaville. There are several large investments by Chinese companies in the Republic of Congo. China Gold is pursuing a copper mining joint venture in the country with the Gerald Group, a US-based metals trading company. Canada-based Mark Industries, majority owned by Chinese shareholder, owns an advanced stage potash project that has stalled due to lack of funding. For a struggling country with such huge debts, we wonder if such loans will ever be paid. Number 3. Kenya Estimated debt $7.9 billion Bilateral relations between Kenya and China dates back to 14 December 1963, two days after the formal establishment of Kenyan independence, when China became the fourth country to open an embassy in Nairobi. Bilateral trade between the two countries amounted to $186.37 million US dollars in 2002. China exported $180.576 million US dollars to Kenya while only importing $5.798 million US dollars of Kenyan goods, mainly black tea, coffee, and leather. Early in 2006, Chinese President Hu Jintao signed an oil exploration contract with Kenya, the latest in a series of deals designed to expand Chinese overseas economic engagement with Africa. The deal allowed for China's state-controlled offshore oil and gas company, GNOOC Ltd, to prospect for oil in Kenya, which is just beginning to drill its first exploratory wells on the borders of Sudan and Somalia and in coastal waters. In 2013, President Uhuru Kenyatta visited China. He held talks with his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping. Kenya and China ended up signing deals worth $5 billion. Kenya currently owes China an estimated $7.9 billion. Number 2. Ethiopia Estimated debt $13.5 billion The economic relationship is multifaceted. Between 2000 and 2014, China provided over $12 billion in loan finance, usually tied to an infrastructure project undertaken by Chinese firms. There is growing Chinese investment in the Ethiopian economy, while imports of cheap consumer goods from China, $3.4 billion in 2015, greatly exceeding exports from Ethiopia to China, $380 million in 2015. The Chinese appear to be interested in Ethiopia for political reasons. Among African countries, its governance and developmental orientation is closest to that of China, and it hosts the African Union headquarters. And as a business partner, Ethiopia's focus on infrastructure has created numerous opportunities for Chinese construction firms. Chinese aid to Ethiopia has included dispatch of medical teams and teachers and educational scholarships for Ethiopian students studying in China. Ethiopian President Mulatu Teshome was educated in China. China's aid program funded the construction of a vocational school in Ethiopia. Number 1. Angola Estimated debt $25 billion Angola is currently the first African country with the most Chinese debt and whether they will ever be able to repay this loan is a story for another day. The Angolan People's Republic established relations with the Chinese People's Republic in 1983. As of 2007, Angola was China's biggest trading partner in Africa. Trade between the two countries was worth over $24.8 billion US in 2010. In 2011, and in the first eight months of 2012, it was the second largest trading partner of China in Africa after South Africa. In 2016, trade between the two countries was worth $15.6 billion. US dollars. Chinese exports to Angola amounted to $1.68 billion US dollars, and Angolan exports to China amounted to $13.97 billion. US dollars. Since the first forum on China-Africa Cooperation Conference in 2000, Beijing has completed $465 million of official development finance projects in Angola. Financial amounts normalized in 2009. This includes a $90 million US dollar loan from the Exim Bank of China for the rehabilitation of the Luanda Railway and the construction of a 45-kilometer electricity distribution line between Kuifangondo and Mabubas. Angola has also received $1 billion US dollars oil back line of credits for the China Exim Bank to repair the country's infrastructure. There you have it, explorers. Those were the top 10 African countries with the most Chinese debts. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.